Okay, so good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Physics 71. This is now lecture 24. Yes, malapit na tayo matapos. Um, we have 32 lectures. So um, this is lecture 24 and maybe we have only have seven lectures left. Uh, and the, the, for today, we will end uh, our topic on dynamics of rotational motion with our discussion of angular momentum. Remember, as I said before, there are three conserved quantities in mechanics. Um, or in general physics, uh, usually we are talking of three conserved quantities, energy, linear momentum, and angular momentum. So this is the third one that we will be discussing, uh, which is a rotational analog of your linear momentum. So um, here's an outline of this discussion. First, we discuss what angular momentum is. We, we define what angular momentum is. There are two definitions, but they're equivalent. One, you can define an angular momentum for a particle moving with some velocity. You can also define an angular momentum for a rigid body that's rotating with some angular um, angular velocity. Kanina pala linear velocity yun. And then it turns out that uh, if there are some conditions that are applied on angular momentum, it is conserved. Ano yung, ang tanong, ano yung mga conditions na yun? Ano yung kailangan niyang ma-satisfy? Remember, your Newton's second law for your usual Newton's second law, um, linear momentum is conserved if the net um, sum of all external forces acting on a system is zero. Ano yung equivalent statement nun for angular momentum? Pag-uusapan natin yan as we go along. And then there's a, then we're also solve problems involving angular momentum. And then finally, uh, there is actually a because we have two definitions and we showed uh, we know that they are equivalent the question is why okay medyo may heuristic argument jan pero kung medyo hindi ka convinced sa heuristic argument i i suggest you watch the supplementary the supplementary discussion because uh there's a more formal way to uh to say that okay if there are a sum of all particles uh if uh for a rigid body Pwede mong isipin niya na sum of, rigid, of particles and then it turns out that the definition of angular momentum for a rigid body and a particle, they're equivalent. Okay? Sige. Now, so at the end of the session, you should be able to first define angular momentum for a point particle and for a rigid body. And then second, explain the conditions for conservation of angular momentum. What are the needed um, necessary ideas? for us to say that angular momentum is conserved. And then finally, we apply conservation of angular momentum to physical systems. We will solve problems again, but this time, may mga rotation ang nagaganap. So, may mga collisions tayo na isa solve, collision problems, pero uh, medyo mas may nangyayari na hindi uh, usual compared sa translational, uh, uh, translational linear momentum. So, halimbawa, um, pag dumamay yung dalawang rigid body, tapos ikot-ikot siyang ganun, yun yung mga examples na kailangan mong gamitin yung angular momentum conservation for these problems. May mga tanong ba? May tanong ba? For the, the, this part, wala naman? None wala? So. None so far. Thank you. <laughs> 